Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Here we are again to call upon Jesus. It's such a great blessing to come to you. What a great joy to come together for day 18. Come on. Day 18. 18 days calling upon Jesus. What a great blessing. Just give me a couple minutes. Let's wait for more people to find us this morning to connect. In the meantime, I want to ask you do me a big favor. Would you? Would you take a minute right now? like this video so that more people can find us amen so that more people can join us this morning in prayer like this video share in your social media also subscribe to the channel This morning, we are on day 18 of our 30 days of morning fire prayers. This morning, we're going to be praying for the prayer request. Get your prayer request. And also, I just feel uh, in my heart to pray this morning for a divine connections. How many of you need some divine connections? specifically in the areas of friendship how how many of you need some good people in your life let me see this morning how many of you are believing god for friendship you've been believing god for godly connections finding good people in your life that's what we're praying for this morning I just feel in my spirit, I woke up this morning feeling that we're to pray for connections, finding good people. That's what we're going to be praying for. <clears throat> we all need some godly connections, some godly people in our lives, amen. don't need more people that just come to your life just to waste your time take advantage of you just give you a hard time you need some people that will add good things into your life they'll encourage you they'll help you they'll be a blessing to you oh but brother fernando those people don't exist Come on, Fernando. You can't trust nobody. There's no good people. Well, yeah, there are some good people out there. There's a lot of awesome people out there that God can bring to your life, that God can connect you with. You just need to be open and believe God. Praise God. Yeah, share people of God to the broadcast. This morning, <laughs> the numbers are very low. Probably it's because it's Black Friday. <laughs> people are supposed to be here praying with us this morning. Probably they are in line right now trying to buy the, the next cheap thing. How many of you like Black Friday? <laughs> Where are the people? 
They're all shopping. They're all in the cold right now in line trying to find the next TV. <laughs> How many of you gonna go out today to look some good deals? There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to find some good deals. I like to find good deals. I love to find good deals. And I do like Black Friday. <clears throat> My wife asked me last night, said, Fernando, let's just go today and see if you... Let's just look around because we, we don't like to go. It's just too crowded. But you say, let's go. It's like, yeah, let's do it. After the prayer. <laughs> After the prayer, we go, we'll go. We'll have a breakfast and then we'll go walk around, see if we find some good things. <clears throat> yeah, I prefer uh, the Cyber Monday. I rather shop online. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. You know, let me see. Let me see you. How many of you have been? Praying with me this whole month of November. How many of you have been praying since the beginning of November? Praise God. I appreciate you for your dedication, for your perseverance in prayer. I can see many of you saying you, you've been since the beginning of November. That is awesome. Oh, let me ask you, how many of you have been since September? How many of you joined us in September? How many of you have been praying since the month of September? Remember, we did the 30 days of prophetic fire prayers in the whole month of September. Then we took October off. I was, I was not able to pray with you in October, but then we started now in November praying the whole month. Oh, praise God. How many of you feel that your prayer life is getting stronger? How many of you feel your prayer life has never been the same? Maybe you have not seen breakthroughs yet the way that you want to see, but you know, you can say, Fernando, but at least my prayer life is stronger. Amen. We are praying, we're believing God for miracles, but as I say very often, the greatest miracle that can happen is your prayer life to become stronger. Amen. We believe in miracles. I'm so excited for your miracle. I'm so blessed to see you receiving a miracle from God. But I'll tell you, I'm more excited to see your life of prayer becoming powerful, becoming strong. When the devil comes knocking your door, you can put him to run. How many of you are going to put the devil to run? <clears throat> when problems come on your way, when the devil comes in your way, you are so strong and you put the devil to run. That's how God wants you to have your prayer life. Now weak prayer life, like many Christians, can you imagine, you know, the, the millions of Christians around the globe, the millions of churchgoers that they've been serving God for 
some of them their entire life, some people 5, 10, 20 years, and sometimes, you know, you, you talk to some of these people, you ask them, do you have a life of prayer? Do you pray daily? And most of them, they don't pray. Most of them, the average church goer don't have a life of prayer. And that's why, you know, we see the church. The reason why the church is in a condition that it is, I believe, is because we lack a life of prayer. I'm not talking about going to church. Going to church is awesome. We should all go to church, find a, a good church to attend, a Bible-believing church, and you go to church. But listen, it's way more than just going to church. Is living for Jesus, having a a strong intimacy with God in a daily base. Amen. I know a lot of people, and I'll tell you, it amazes me. It amazes me when I talk to people that's been serving God for you know for numbers of years. And you talk to them and they are so shallow spiritually. You know, you talk to them, as I say, you know, before you talk to them about spiritual things and they, they think that you're from, you know, they, you're an alien. <laughs> you talk to them about spiritual things and they look to you as like, you know, what language are you talking about? You know, they have no clue about spiritual things, but they know everything about football. They know everything about, you know. Uh, earthly things and it should not be like that people of God I'll never get tired of saying it should not be like that every child of God should be strong in God every child of God should have a strong life of prayer oh brother Ferdinand I thought that was just for pastors I thought that was just for ministers you are so dead wrong. You are so wrong. Not it's not just for pastors. It's for every child of God. Every child of God. Every born again Christian should have a strong life of prayer. Amen. This is not just for some people called to the ministry. This is not for just Brother Fernando. Amen. This is for every child of God. The greatest investment that you can make in your life is in your life of prayer. You should give more time, more dedication to your life of prayer than anything in this world. Why? Because... Prayer is, uh, uh, is communion with your Creator. Prayer is you taking time and saying, God, I put you first. God, I need you more than anything in this world. Amen. That's what prayer is. Prayer is you putting things aside, saying, God, I prefer you. I choose you. I want you in my life because you are my creator. You are my savior. You are my everything. And without you, I cannot do anything. I have to have you first in my life. Amen. He amazes me. The number of Christians been, you know, Christians for 20, 30 years, 40 years. 50 years, some of them, they were born and raised in church. And you talk to them about spiritual things. You talk about prayer. You talk about walking with God. And a lot of them, they're just, you know, they think that you are some, you know, from another planet. <clears throat> My goodness. Uh, uh, we have to have a life of prayer. That's what I live for, as I say often. Okay. I love to see people receiving miracles. When you send me prayer uh, me, when you send me praise report of some miracles that you received, something that you were praying for, you know, and you start joining us in prayer, you start watching our videos, and and, and you you receive the miracle. 
when you send me those praise reports, I celebrate, I rejoice with you, I get very, very happy when you send your praise report of your miracle. But there's nothing that excites me more. There's no miracle, there's nothing that excites me more than to know that you are a weak, a fragile Christian, and now you are strong in God. When you send a praise report to St. Fernando, I was so, you know, I was giving up my faith. I was so weak in my Christian walk, and now I'm on fire for God. I am strong in God. I'm helping others. I, I, I you know, I, I'm no longer the same. Oh my goodness, there is nothing that excites me more than that. That is the joy of my heart to know that, you know, that we are here laboring, laboring in prayer to help the body of Christ to grow strong. Amen. That is the desire of my heart. Praise God. People of God, let's get into God's word and then we're going to pray. Amen. I was just, as I said uh, this morning, I want to pray for you. One of the prayers I want to pray with you is for divine connections. I'm praying that God will bless you to find godly people in your life. That you find some good friends. We all need people in our lives. Oh, none of us. None of us are called to walk alone by ourselves not having nobody in life. That life of loneliness and just being by yourself and living life on your own, that is not the will of God. You were not created by God to go through life on your own trying to figure out how to be a strong Christian. You are called by God amen, to have friends, to have people in your life. Oh, but Brother Fernando, I don't trust nobody. Well, you have to get that thing out of your life. Yeah, I know maybe you got wounded by people. Maybe people took advantage of you. Maybe you got hurt. But you need people in your life. You need some godly, awesome people that they can be Jesus' hand in your life. They can hug on you, can love on you. Amen. And don't tell me there's not such a people as the, like, you know, out there. The reason why some of you think, oh, there's no godly people, there's no good people out there is because you don't trust nobody. That's why you have to open your heart and allow Jesus to heal your wounds. Listen to what the Word of God says in Proverbs 18, verse 24. I love this this verse <clears throat> Proverbs 18 verse 24 the Bible says one who has unreal un unreliable friends the one who has unreal unreliable friends soon will come to ruin but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother I like this translation here the New Living Translation says, They are friends who destroy each other. But a real friend is sticks closer than a brother. Let me read again. How many of you have those friends? <laughs> if you do, you have to let them go. They are friends. They are friends who destroy each other. But a real friend... It takes closer than a brother. Amen. If you have those friends, you have to let them go. <clears throat> Proverbs 17, verse 17. Once again, Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 17, the Bible says, A friend loves at all times. And a brother is born for adversity. A friend loves at all times. A real friend loves at all times. 
How many of you need those people that you're going through some stuff and they stick closer to you, they pray for you, they come alongside, they speak life into your situation, they help you, they cry with you, amen, they they laugh with you, they, they are there, amen, those people you need, you need godly friends. How do you, let me give you a key, how many of you need some godly friends in your life? How many of you need some godly people in your life? You know how you attract those people? One, you open your heart. You open your heart to the Lord say, God, I acknowledge that I need some godly friends in my life. And I'm willing, God, I'm willing that you remove, you remove those wrong people from my life. You allowed, you say, God, I don't want these fake people around me anymore. I shared this with you some time ago. I had a, I had a friend, you know, maybe five, six years ago, I had a friend that I knew his, I knew his parents, his parents, they're, they're good people. They are born again. They are, uh, you know, th they are good Christians. The parents, and uh, and they lived overseas. And he, this friend, he lived near me, near my house, and uh, and I was reaching out to this young man. You know, he was a friend. He was my age, and uh, he was born and raised in church. But my gosh, the guy didn't want nothing to do with God. He knew how to talk, the Christian talk, but didn't live. And my goodness, every time that I would go to hang out with him, I would go with a mission. I would go to try to get this guy to get saved again. <laughs> get this guy to, you know, to live for Jesus. And uh, and I'll go there and I'll hang out with him. And every time, and listen, this guy at the time, and he still, you know, he he is married. You know, he has, you know, he has a, a, a wife. He's married. Have two kids, two beautiful kids. And I would go and just hang out with him. And I'll tell you, every time, he would start talking about girls. You know, uh, and I was like, dude, what do you have in your mind? You know, you know, I'm, I'm a married man. Okay. I have a wife. Okay. You have a wife. You have kids. I didn't have kids at the time. I was like, you, you know, why are you talking to me about girls? You know, why are you going there? I don't want to talk about girls. You know, I have a wife. You have a wife. And every time it would, it would end up in, you know, talking, you know, he want to talk to me about girls and how he went out. He, it, it was like, man, just so disrespectful. And, uh, it, it, you know, every now and then we would have a good conversation, but most of the time it was just a waste of my time. I was like, man, I'm literally just wasting my time with this guy. And I tried, and I tried, and I tried to talk to him about God, and I tried to, you know, to, to, to help him. And I'm telling you, I got to a point where I just got fed up. I was like, listen, I am fed up with your nonsense. And guess what? From this day on, from now on, you walk your ways and I go my way. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. You don't want to change it. You find somebody, you know, find your, your, find your people. I, I don't want to, nothing to do with you. I try to the best of my, uh, of my ability to hang out with you, to be a good brother to you, to speak life into your life, you know, to speak life, you know, to you and your family, to, you know, help you, to be there for you, but you just don't want to change. And so guess what? I'm not going to waste my time with you anymore. And I walked away and never talked to him again. I did my part. I tried to the best that I could to 
be a good friend, but he didn't want to. He didn't want a good friend. He just want to fool around and just waste my time. I was like, listen, I don't want you in my life anymore. If God wants, he will send somebody else to talk to you, but I'm not wasting my time with you anymore. I did the best that I could to win this guy for the Lord, but he was just wasting my time and he was just, you know, he didn't want to change. So I had to let him go. And that's how it is. You know, some of you right now, you have, uh, you know, uh, some people in your life, they're just nasty. You have some people in your life that just take advantage of you. You know, they just cause headache in your life. They just, you know, they just come to suck the life out of you. And you just have to, you know, the best thing you can do is just walk away and pray for them from afar. That's what I have to do with that guy. I do pray to this day that he gets saved. Amen. And, and, and it's, but, but you may say, but Fernando, it's, you know, I need to save the person. I need to listen. The best thing you can do is to pray for anyone. If, if you are with people that they are toxic, that every time that you are around this person, it's always, you know, poisoning you, always discouraging you, always hindering you to grow in God. It's always stumbling block in your life. You have to let it go. You have, in that case, it's better to be alone than having the wrong people. It's like what the Bible just said right here. Okay, they are friends who destroys each other. And the, you know, those people, they destroy. They destroy your relationship with God. They destroy, amen, your, your dreams. They destroy, you know, your time. They destroy things in your life. And you have to be willing to let it go. So that's how you attract good people. You know, you let it go. The fakes, you let it go, those, you know, those people that shouldn't be in your life. And you pray for them. You pray from afar. You don't need to be around them to love on them. You can pray for them. You can pray. You can fast. You can seek God on their behalf that God will open their eyes. But the, if they are poisons, if they are toxic people, if they're just coming to mess you up, it's better to walk away and pray for them from afar than just be around them. Amen. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and then what do you do? You walk away, you let it go, and you pray. You keep praying and you become, okay, a good friend. How you attract good friends, you become a good friend. You become a good friend. You say, God, I want to be a good friend to somebody. It, it, it's amazing when we become what we want in our lives. Amen. You want a good friend, become a good friend. You say, God, I'm not going to gossip any, with, you know, about anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to be negative. I'm not going to be, you know, just focusing on negative stuff. I'm going to be a good friend. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to enjoy the friends that you bring to my life. We're going to, you know, build our, our faith. We're going to get strong. We're going to have Bible studies. You know, when I was single, when I, you know, when I was single, I loved, man, I, the friends that we had, you know, still have this day. I, you know what I loved? I loved to go to Starbucks, sit there and read my Bible with my friends. We used to do it all, all the time. We used to go to Starbucks. I have a friend of mine. We, I, I, one of my friends, we used to do this all, all the time. We, we used to go to coffee shops and, uh, and just sit there and, 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 and read the Bible or work on videos, do things online and, you know, do our work online. Uh, 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 and man, it was just such a fun time. I miss those times. It was just awesome. And uh, so that's how you break the cycle. That's how you break the cycle of just living in loneliness and living with, you know, in chaotic relationships. 
Praise God. Let us pray. I already talked too much. Let us pray. Let us call upon Jesus. You know, I love this talk that we have in the morning. As I share the word with you, as I share with you what God puts in my heart. Because I understand one thing. It's not just praying, okay? As I say this often, people just want, Fernando, come on, would you just rush into prayer? Come on, let's just pray. No, you don't need just prayer. You need to hear the word. You need to hear the truth. Fernando, I don't want to hear the out. I want is just a prayer. The, the, the Bible says that if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. It's not just prayer. You need to hear the truth, put into practice some stuff so that the blessings can flow. <clears throat> Amen. Let us pray. Get your prayer request to lift up to heaven. Let us pray over your prayer request. Let us pray for friendship this morning. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Let us call upon Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your faithfulness. Here we are again, day 18, calling upon your holy name. I thank you so much, Father God, for your faithfulness, for allowing us to come together here online to pray, to lift up the name of Jesus, to call upon your name, to pray in agreement as your people. Father God, I thank you so much. Because I know, I have no question, I know that you are doing some awesome things in us. I know that you are stirring up faith inside of us. I know, Father God, that something powerful is taking place in the inside. Lord God, true change happens from the inside out. Lord God, in order for or outside to change, Lord God, the inside must change first. Change begins in the inside. Change, transformation begins in the heart when we surrender to you. And so we thank you so much because you are changing. I thank you for the Holy Spirit, the wonderful Holy Spirit that lives in the inside. The Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. The Holy Spirit is bringing conviction. The Holy Spirit is showing us the way. The Holy Spirit is teaching us the way of victory. I thank you so much for your faithfulness. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you, God Almighty, for this day. This is not a waste of time. We are not here just wasting time. We are here with a purpose. We are here with a mission. We are here, Lord God, uh, because you love us and you're the only one that can change us. You're the only one that can transform our situation. And so we give you all the glory. We lift up our hands to heaven. We lift up our eyes. We gaze upon you this morning. We acknowledge that you are the only way, the truth, and the life. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you because this day is a brand new day. This day, Lord God, you are giving us the opportunity, the, change, the chance to change. You are giving us, Lord God, this amazing opportunity, Lord God, to live for you. Thank you so much. This is the day that you have made. This is the day, Father God, to live for you. This is the day to walk in your ways. This is the way, the day, Father God, that we can surrender our situation. We can surrender our lives to you. 
Father God, I thank you for my brother. I thank you for my sister. Lord God, the first prayer that I prayed this morning, Lord God, is for friendship. Lord God, I sense in my spirit there are many people, Lord God, praying with me that they are in need of godly friendship. They are in need of godly connection. They are in need, Lord God, of some real friends, godly friends, people, Lord God, that will come to them, people that will come to their lives, that you're going to connect them with, Lord God, that, that they will be a blessing. Lord God, I'm praying, I'm calling this morning, Lord God, I'm calling forth godly relationship, godly friendships. I'm praying for godly people. Lord God, I am praying that you unite, that you bring, that you connect this man, this woman to godly people. Lord God, we all need people in our lives. You did not create us to go through life, Lord God, on our own, living in loneliness, living on our own, trying to become a strong Christian. God Almighty, you didn't create us to be alone. You create us to be, Lord God, in communion. You create us to be, Lord God, in community. You create us, Lord God, to be in family. You create us, Lord God, to be with people. Lord God, we live in a, in a world where people don't trust nobody. Lord God, uh, the number of Christians that I have prayed over the years, that they, they've been living by themselves for years. They don't trust the church anymore. They don't trust the body of Christ. They don't trust Christians. Lord God, it's easy to say that everybody's fake. Everybody's fake. Lord God, I pray that you change this thing in the inside. I pray that you change this mentality of my brother, my sister. I pray specifically for those, Father God, that for some reason, maybe they got wounded in church. They got wounded, Lord God, and now they don't trust nobody. And some of them, they have made this ungodly, Lord God, covenant, this ungodly alliance to walk alone. They made, Lord God, a vow, Lord God, with the enemy. Lord God, through their words saying, I will not trust nobody ever again. I will not trust nobody. Nobody is trustworthy. Nobody. Everybody's fake. Everybody just wants to, to take advantage of me. Lord God, whatever it is that this man, this woman established, Lord God, through their words, they gave Satan, Lord God, a legal right to walk side by side with them. Walking, Lord God, with them because of their words, because of their agreements, because they released words, Lord God, out of their anger, out of their frustration. They released words saying, I will not trust nobody. And now they have no idea why, Lord God, that nobody comes into their lives because there's an agreement, there's a vow, there's a covenant, Lord God, that needs to be broken. And I pray that my brother, my sister this morning, they'll be free from every ungodly vow in covenants that they made with, Lord God, with loneliness and rejection. Lord God, they have created this wall around them. Some of them, Lord God, nothing penetrates their hearts anymore. Their heart is so hardened, Lord God, nobody can come closer to them. Lord God, when people come close, immediately the walls go up. They don't trust nobody. Father God, that is not the life that you have for this man and for this woman. I pray that you'll break the walls. I pray for the fire of the Holy Ghost to break the walls. Every vow, covenant, alliance, everything, Lord God, that was established out of their anger, out of their frustration, out of their words, Father God. Some of them, they need to renounce the vows. Some of them, they need to renounce the words that they spoke out of their anger, out of their frustration, out of their bitterness. Lord God, some of them, they said over and over again, I will never trust nobody. I will never allow people into my life again. Lord God, I pray. Show this man, this woman, that they need deliverance. Show them that, well, Lord God, the devil, when they spoke of those words, the devil found a right, a legal right to use that against them. Father God, I pray, break the walls. Break those, Lord God, uh, invisible 
change those invisible, Lord God, someone that they feel that they're inside of a prison, an invisible prison. Lord God, uh, the, uh, I pray that you connect them with godly people, that they will let it go, every vow and covenant, that they'll come out of agreement with those things, and they'll say, you know what, I need people in my life, I was not created by God to go by myself, to do life on my own, I was not created to go through life by myself, I need some people, I need some people to look me in the eyes, to tell me that I'm not alone, that they are with me, mean that, that everything will be fine. Father God, we all need that. None of us are supermen. None of us can say, I'm strong enough. I don't need nobody in my life. I can do this on my own. Father God, that is rooted in pride, in arrogance, in stubbornness. Lord God, we all need people. We all, Lord God, we all need, Lord God, to dwell, Lord God, in family. We all need to have people that can encourage us. Lord God, I'm not talking about, Lord God, fake people. I'm not talking about Judas. I'm not talking about, Lord God, fake people. Lord God, betrayers. I'm not talking about those people that only comes to betray, only comes, Lord God, to take advantage. I'm talking about people, Lord God, that, that, that loves you, people that loves your word, people, Lord God, that cares, people that when we come together will be strong in the land. I am not even talking about people perfect people, because there's not such a thing as perfect people, there's none of us, none of us can say that I'm perfect, there's not a perfect person, the only perfect, the only perfect person that lived in this earth is no longer here, it was Jesus Christ, Jesus lived a sinless life, he lived, he, he fulfilled his earthly calling, and he went back to the Father, Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, he was the only one that was perfect, Jesus is the only one perfect, there's not such a thing as, I just want a perfect friend, I want a perfect man, I want a perfect woman, there's not such a thing, us that we all need a God we all need his grace we all need the Lord none of us are perfect we all sinners we all we all have fall short of the glory of God we all need God's grace and mercy daily to live this Christian life and so I pray that you bring people that loves you I pray for all of us that you bring that you surround us with godly with solid people that loves you with people are God, that will come to our lives, Lord God, to add, they will help us to grow spiritually, they will help us, Lord God, to achieve our calling, our purpose in life, Lord God, when we come together, we'll be able to pour into each other's life, we pray all of this in the precious and the wonderful name of Jesus, also I pray for the prayer request, come on, lift up your prayer request to heaven, Father, we praise you and we worship you, for for this prayer request, thank you, because today, Lord God, is day 18, Lord God, 18 days calling upon your name, praying, Lord God, non-stop, 18 days, Lord God, praying for this prayer request, and so, Lord God, we lift up this prayer request to you, we pray, God Almighty, that you come to our rescue, we pray that you bless this prayer request, we pray that you move, Father God, on behalf of this man, this woman, I pray, God, that you release their miracle, whatever it is that they are crying out for, everything that they are praying, that they are crying out in prayer, they are presenting to you in prayer, your word says, Father God, that all things are possible for those that believe, we believe, Father God, in this channel, we believe in the truth, in this channel, we believe in the word, this channel, Lord God, we believe, we stand solid in your word, we stand solid, Lord God, in your promises, we live according to your word, Father God, we believe that the miracles that we're praying for, you're the only one that can, Lord God, that can, that can release these miracles, you're the only one that can perform signs, wonders, and breakthroughs, you're the only one that can change this impossible situation, and we surrender our impossible situation to you, we surrender, Lord God, our prayer request to you, and we ask you, God Almighty, 
move mightily upon my brother, my sister. I pray, God Almighty, that you bless every prayer request. I pray for families. I pray for the healing of families. I pray for the healing of marriage. I pray, Lord God, for the healing, of, Lord God, of those who are believing for a healing in the body. Those who are in need of emotional healing. Those who are in need, Lord God, of physical healing. Those who are in need of mental healing. Those who are in need of spiritual healing. Father God, I pray for those who are in need, Lord God, of a financial breakthrough. Those who need a miracle in the workplace. I pray for those who are in need of a miracle in their finances. I pray for those who are in need of a miracle, Lord God, in their job. They need a promotion. They need a raise. They need a bonus. They need, Lord God, a, a new door to open for them. Father, all things are possible with you. And we pray, we command, we speak to the mountain. We command every impossible situation, Lord God, to bow to your name. We command every impossible situation, Lord God, to be cast into the sea. We command this giant to, get, to come out of this man, this woman's way. Every giant, Lord God, I pray, let this giant come down. Let this giant, Lord God, be defeated in front of this man, this woman. I pray for those who are in need of deliverance. I know I'm praying with people, Lord God, this morning. Lord God, that their prayer request is, Lord God, a miracle. Some of them, they need, Lord God, a deliverance. They need, Lord God, to break free from the chains of their past. They need to break free, Lord God, from addictions. They need to break free, Lord God, from the grip of Satan. They need to break free, Lord God, from the, the hook, from the grip of the devil. Father God, I pray, set this man, this woman free. Deliver this man, this woman. Raise this man, this woman to be mighty in the land. God Almighty, I pray. Raise up men and women of prayer. Raise up powerful men and women this hour. Raise up my brother, my sister with fire in their bones. Raise them, Lord God, to be anointed. Raise them, Lord God, to be powerful. Raise them to be awesome. Raise them, Lord God, to be winners. Raise them, Lord God, break the shackles. Break, Father God, that cycle, that ongoing cycle of defeat and failure. I pray that you set them free. I pray that you break the yoke. I pray, Lord God, that you raise my brother, my sister for such a time as this. I pray, Father God, that you break the yoke of bondage. I pray that you break the snares of Satan. I pray, Father God, bless my brother, my sister for such a time as this. Father, I bless each and every one of them to the sound of my voice. And I pray, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the life of my brother and my sister. Father, I bless them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. If you receive my brother, my sister, lift up your hands to heaven and just praise the Lord right now. Praise the Lord for your breakthrough. Praise the Lord right now for what he's doing in your life. Praise the Lord for the answers that are coming, the breakthroughs that are coming. Praise the Lord right now for all the miracles that is coming on your way. Oh, we praise you. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. We give you all the glory and all the praise because you're worthy, because you're awesome, because you are amazing. We worship you, King of Kings. We worship you, Lord of Lords. We worship you. You are awesome, God Almighty. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you so much for your faithfulness. We give you all the praise and all the honor. Thank you, God Almighty. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother, my sister. Get your bottle of water right now. Let us pray over the water. Get your bottle of water. Lift up to heaven. Let us pray over this water in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, now we present to you this bottle, this cup of water that we have in our hands. God Almighty, we thank you so much for your faithfulness and for your goodness. God Almighty, I bless this bottle of water. Lord God, your word declares that all things are possible for those that believe. Your word says, ask and you shall receive. And that's what we're praying. That's what we're asking. That you bless this water. Lord God, we see throughout the word. We see throughout the Bible. Lord God, many times when you use water to bring a healing upon a person, to bring a healing upon a people. Lord God, I thank you. The first miracle, Lord God, that comes to my mind, Lord God, in the Bible, when you had to do a miracle, Lord God, in the water, or Lord God, when it was when the, Lord God, uh, the children, the uh, 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 your children, the, 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 they were coming out of the land of slavery. The children of Israel, they were coming out of the land of Egypt. And they were coming, Lord God, to cross over to the promised land. They were coming to cross, Lord God, and they got in front of the Red Sea and they could not cross. And you opened, you performed a miracle in the water. Moses touched the water. In the water, Lord God, it, it was split open. The sea, the sea was split. Lord God, then they were able to cross over. Father, I thank you. Lord God, I remember, Lord God, as I, we read the other day, Lord God, when Naaman, the, the, the leper, Lord God, Naaman had leprosy. He, uh, the prophet, the Lord God, told him, go and, 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 and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. And you will be made whole. And he did. And his flesh was restored. He was healed. You used that water from the Jordan to, to bring healing and cleansing to him. Lord God, I remember as well, Lord God, your word. Lord God, it says, Lord God, in the uh, in your word that uh, there was a pool called the pool of Bethesda. Lord God, and your angel would come down from heaven at a certain time of the year. Your angel would stir up the water. And only when your angel would stir up the water, when your angel would stir up the water, there was an anointing that would come upon that water. There was a healing anointing that would be released into that water. And everyone that would jump into that pool Instantly, they would receive healing and deliverance. And so I pray, God Almighty, would you bless this water the same way that you blessed, Lord God, the same way that you opened the Red Sea, the same way that you blessed the water in the Jordan, the same way that you blessed the water, Lord God, in that pool of Bethesda, the same way that you blessed the water when, you, when Jesus turned the water into wine. I pray, would you bless this water? Would you anoint this water? We know there's nothing special about the water, about the bar or the cup of water. Lord God, our hope is not even in the water. Our hope, our faith is in you. We know that you can use this water as a point of contact. God Almighty, I pray. Would you bless this water? Would you put a special healing anointing in this water? When they drink this water... I pray if there's any sickness, infirmity, illness, disease, bacteria, inflammations, infections. Lord God, if there's any pain, aches, any cancer, tumors, growth, lump, cyst. Lord God, if there's anything in the organs, any organ, any body part, Lord God, that stop working. Anything, Lord God, that is hindering the brain to send the signal to the body. Anything that is hindering the brain. Anything that is hindering, Father God, my brother, my sister's body to walk. Lord God, in health. I pray that you touch this water. I present to you this water, God Almighty. 
We approach you, Lord God, with a childlike faith. And we ask you, God, would you bless this water? You are the great physician. Your word says that you talk upon yourself, Jesus Christ. All of infirmities and by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. And so I pray that you heal your people. I pray that you restore their strength. I pray for those who lack strength in the body. I pray as they drink this water for strength from above to come from to them. I pray for their strength from heaven to come upon their body and to make them well. I pray for those, Father God, who received, Lord God, a bad news. Those who received, Lord God, a, a, a bad news from the doctor saying that there's nothing else that they can do for them. Lord God, they have an incurable illness. They're going to die. Some of them, Lord God, they received this, this, this bad news that they're going to die. There's nothing else they can do and they are frightened. They are so worried. They are so fearful, Lord God, of death. Oh, God Almighty. Would you touch this man, this woman? Would you break, Lord God, this assignment, this decree of death? Would you break this assignment of death? And would you, Lord God, heal and restore this man, this woman, and raise this person to be a powerful testimony in your hand? God Almighty, I bless my brother, my sister, and I pray as they drink this water. If there's any infirmity, illness, and sickness, and demons, I pray, God Almighty, let it be flushed out of their bodies. I pray if there's any spirit, Lord God, of sickness and disease, I pray pray for this devil to receive so much fire. I pray, Lord God, strike this demon, Lord God, in the head, strike this devil, and break and destroy the assignment of death and sickness. I pray if there's any, Lord God, cycle, any curse of premature death, if there's any curse, Lord God, in the family, in the bloodline, if there's any, Lord God, cycle of premature death, Anything that came, Lord God, as a generational curse. Any, Lord God, thing that has been following the family, that came through the DNA, that came through the bloodline, that came, Lord God, from the father, the mother, side of the family. Every sickness and illness that's been following this family, I pray that you'll break this cycle. I pray that you'll break this curse. I pray, Lord God, that you'll break this assignment of the devil. And I pray, Father God, let it be completely destroyed. And I pray, Lord God, for life. I pray for health. I pray, Lord God, for life. I speak life. Your word says that the power of life and death is in our tongue. And so I speak life. I prophesy life. I decree life in this man, this woman, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I ask you, raise this person. Raise each and every one of them to be powerful in the land. Raise them, Lord God, to live everything that you have in store for them. I bless each and every one of them. To the sound of my voice, if you receive, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We bless this water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You can drink this water now in the name of Jesus. Oh, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness, Jesus. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. My brother, my sister, before I pray this final prayer over you, would you please 
like this video so that YouTube will share our video with more people and more people will find hope. Would you please share this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, become part of our family here on YouTube. Praise the Lord. Open your hands like this. Let me pray this final prayer over you. My brother and my sister, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother and my sister, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you to walk in divine health and healing. I bless you to find amazing, godly people that will be a blessing to your life. I bless you and I bless you. If you receive, say amen. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. People of God, it's been such a great honor, such a great blessing to be able to pray and to stand with all of you again. What a great joy. What a great blessing. I look forward to pray with you tomorrow again for day 19 as we continue to believe God, as we continue to pray as we continue to seek God. Amen. Please, I want to ask again, if you can, share this video in your social media. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Become part of our family here on YouTube. I appreciate if you can do that. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for all the super chat, for all the super stickers. May the Lord bless you abundantly. If you want to support my prayer channel, there are, there are links down below in the description of this video as well. I appreciate you. Have a blessed weekend. Let's continue to believe. Let's continue to pray. Amen. Keep your eyes upon the Lord. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom. Peace.